The difference between your Miami and Carisha is Carisha is humble. Your Miami is that bitch. When I get to my superstar mode, like I'm that bitch. I'm here to show y'all hoes. I'm gonna shit this shit down. You're already dealing with a group. You're, you're you don't have your life. girl. How hard is that? How, how hard is this? Shit's cause I have a baby. My pussy ain't gonna be good no more. <laughs> I can't talk about Ryan D. I'm still Ryan D. I'm still gonna do all the shit I did before I got pregnant, so why I can't rap about it. Carisha the sweetest thing in the world. Do anything for her kids. Anything for her kids, anything. You can have all the money in the world, but I just feel like I want to live life for my kids. Like when I get 30 years old, if I get 35, I want to have kids and I want to experience life with my kids. I don't want all this money for me. Hello. Good to see you. How is everything? Good. How is the baby? Good. She's moving well? Yes. She's behaving? Mm-hmm. Perfect. She loves to be around her family. She's a very family-oriented person. That's who she is. That's what she likes to do. I think it's going to make her go harder, harder than when she's going. She's doing it right now. She's seven months, and she's still rocking the stage, better than people that's not pregnant. I want to still work and do everything with a baby. Like, I want to be up all night. I want to get it. It's super exciting because last year we did BET and they were just there as guests. But this year we're actually nominated for two different awards. When you're a female like in the limelight, I feel like people are so much more judgmental on your every move and everything that you're doing. Back in the day, it was, if you have kids, then that's, yeah. that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's like, we see so many examples to where it's okay to have a family and you can still chase your dreams as well. For her to be holding it down just by herself, I feel like she's doing a really good job. I know it's not easy. She's doing what she needs to do. Yeah. Her schedule is so crazy and so chaotic. Like, her being pregnant isn't stopping anything. She's still going to go out. She's going to do the red carpet. She's still going to show up to the awards. Never not busy when you like a big artist. And it's a lot of hard work and dedication, especially being a female. It's just like, you got to perform. You got to go. You got to get a choreography. Like, now it's starting to drain you. As a woman, we get judged for everything we do. We can't ever just have fun and be ourselves and express ourselves without getting backlash. Men, like, men can make music about whatever they want, but then when we make music, it's like, you're a prostitute, you're a hoe, and you don't got no self-respect. So it's like, no, that's not true. Like, why we can't say the same thing that they saying? Right. Sometimes it gets to you because you always reading stuff every day about you online, like whether it's in the comments, it's in the blogs, but it's just like, at the end of the day, you gotta know focus and you gotta know, like, I know I'm doing better than that, and then you'll be, I'll be all right. I had got this email today from Carisha's doctor. She was shooting a video last week. Yeah. And um, in the middle of the video, she started having some complications. Yeah, yeah that's what they was telling me. It sounded like um, some contractions. Or she went to the hospital and um, the doctor sent over a note. I'm just looking at the options for everything. She's just trying everything out, but she's not sure yet. Okay. We figure I don't want to like ghetto. I want you to be very much like him and make her pretty. I'm gonna look ghetto at all. Okay. I'm look very um, much beautiful. She needs to rest and reduce her work schedule. Please note the following. One, she cannot be on her feet for more than five hours. She needs a day off after every event she hosts international flights are not recommended. So we gotta shut down the whole yeah. global city we were gonna do. I ain't got no outfits if I never put them up. 
like we knew she was performing, but no one wanted to discuss looks with her. Oh, I, I text them all to you. You wanna know what's so crazy I've been thinking about? The same time last year, yeah, yeah, yeah. JT was about to get ready to turn herself in. Remember we came out here, did the um, awards. Super emotional, I remember that. No, but I text you all these, the outfit options, remember? No, I'm talking about we are Saturday We just night. saw that Carisha, today at rehearsal. Carisha performing less than 24 hours and we still trying to figure out how to look. And now we back here a year later. I know. They about to be nominated. Best new group, best new artist, and we facing a whole nother situation with them. Miami been working her ass off just to keep, you know, the city girl's name alive. But I, let's let this BET award though. Like, you know, she just gotta come out and shine. From the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles, it's the 2019 BET Awards. It's your Miami, and I came in with my sex up, tired ass hoes on my page, trying to see brand new Chinese city girls going platinum. I keep a baby block, I ain't fighting with no reason. What's up? How do you feel about your performance? I was supposed to rehearse in LA for two weeks for BET, and I only ended up doing two days. It was no energy. Um, what? It don't look like it was well rehearsed on your end. Fake ass shoes with a fake ass doll. I'm the realest bitch ever to be fake ass doll. My whole thing is this: I only rehearsed for two days. I supposed to had a week a week of rehearsals. <laughs> Capri right here, I got you on speaker. Put nothing because we probably got at least 10 days working rehearsal. That's what we paid for. Why is your Miami going to all these other places, doing all these shows when on her schedule we already have shows that we got to do? Why are you still going to all these other places? Why are you still going to all these other places? Why are you still going to all these other places? Okay, but Pete, I was nervous. This was my first. No, no, this was my okay, first okay, TV okay, performance. I was focusing on not missing the step. I was focusing on not cursing it because that was the main thing they kept saying: don't curse, don't curse, don't curse. That was my first time ever performing with plug in in my ears. Like everything that I did for the BET was my first time. They telling me like you can't cuss. The whole hook is cussing. Real yeah, ass bitch. Dude. About a nigga, big burpy, bad hoe, five six figures, strikes on my ass, so he caught it. Scaring ass bitch ass. When I was rehearsing, I kept cussing. These big events, when she's got that big stage, she's got to have enough preparation time. She represents our lady. She represents our brand. We already about to get ready to shut down, man. You so know we got a lot of work to do. I understand you pray. And I understand it's a lot on you right now. You still gotta carry the group. I don't wanna stop. I be tired, but then when I be home getting my rest, I be like, I'm bored. What am I doing? Falling up baby clothes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I want to keep going. I'm excited though, because I feel like the next time, the next time they see you, it's going to be with JT. And I feel like it's just going to be epic. Like when we come out, I already know how I want to do it, but I just feel like it's going to be next level. It's going to be, I feel like the next time I perform with JT, it's going to be like another feeling I never had. It's just going to be weird, because you know, like everything going to be new, everything going to be fresh. Like our intro, because we're going to need a new intro. Light, smoke, fire. 